hanging out with Jordan Love, joining us on behalf of Old Spice. In case you can't tell, it's beautifully done. I mean, that looks good. We'll talk about Old Spice in a second, but first, we're playing What's in the Cards. It's a simple game. I, there have been several players that have accused us of not shuffling the cards, so while I explain the game, I'm shuffling them in front of you. It's higher or lower, okay? So all we got to do, look, I'm not even going to look while I shuffle. Man, all you got to do is tell me is if it's going to be higher or lower. You okay. get it right, you get an easy question. You get it wrong, you get a hard question. The first card's a queen. It's going to be an easy one. Uh, lower. He's going lower than a queen, and it comes out a four. Ah, that's just too easy for him. All right. You get an easy question. This is right down the middle. You feel validated? Like, there's been a lot of people with a lot of opinions. You feel at this point, the end of the, the, the season? You kind yeah, of feel? yeah, yeah. I feel like there's still going to be a lot of people with a lot of opinions going forward. Um, that's just part of the business. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Do you, like, do you all hear that? Do you hear that ever? Like, just the noise, the chatter. You, you hear the noise. The noise is there, and it's kind of your job as a player to block it out. And if that's your role, my role is kind of, I like to block out the noise and, and you know, you see it, but, you know, just take it in. It's, it's somebody else's opinion. Who, who cares what they think at the end of the day? I love that mindset, but I'm also going to be honest, like, that's easier said than done, right? Like, oh, yeah. even with what we do, right? Like, every time you have an opinion, somebody trashes you on Twitter. Like, mm-hmm. I want to think that I can just let that go. Yeah. But then, like, three hours later, you're still looking like that, yeah. you know? Yeah, but, but at the end of the day, it's motivation. When you go and you, like we talk about, you get to prove people wrong at the end of the day. That, that, that's very fun. All right, we're going higher or lower than a four. Higher. Yeah, that was something hard. He gets another easy. Oh, this one's good. This one's good. Wild or Friday night, Utah or Green Bay? Ooh. I mean, Utah, I'm in college. You know, college life is a little different. Yeah, but you're in college in Utah. Come on. College in Utah. It's still college at the end of the day. So (laughs) I'm definitely going Utah, man. I I was a little surprised. Like, I've I've spent some time in Green Bay. Green Bay 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 is small. It's small. And they know how to have a good time out there as well. But, you know, at the same time, you know, uh, I can't be living like I was in college. Uh, (laughs) Started quarterback of the Packers. All right, higher or lower than a nine? Higher. Oh, it's a, it's a, it came up a nine. We got a tie. That's a push. So that means you get another one, higher or lower. Uh, just keep it higher. Oh, he gets another. He's getting all the easy yeah. ones. I'm going to start rigging this whole thing. Uh, all right, biggest thing you learned this year, getting this opportunity to play. Um, yes. Uh, for myself, it's just how, how slim that margin for error is in the NFL in every game you play in. Um, not that you have to be perfect in every game, but, you know, when you have an opportunity to put somebody away and take advantage of a game, you know, you got to take advantage of that uh, to the fullest. And uh, that margin for error, you know, you got to limit as many mistakes as you can in the game. Uh, because, you know, everybody's good in the NFL. Everybody's going to make plays. If you give the ball back to the team, they're, they're gonna, they got good players over there. They're going to make plays. So just how slim that margin for error is. Higher or lower than the jack? Lower. Ah, this one's going to be. He gets an eight. Like, he's dancing around this. You get yeah. yet another easy question. All right, you got a young core coming up together, right? A lot of people have had things to say about you, but also about the weapons in Green Bay, right? All of you guys are growing together. What's it mean to have a young core that co- sort of grows in the league together at once? Yeah, it's, it's, it's been awesome. Uh, this year was awesome. Just to, like you said, be able to build that, be able to build that team chemistry. Obviously, it's a lot of new guys that haven't played together. So uh, we knew coming in, it's going to be a process, man. It's not something that you just roll out week one and just roll through the season. It's, it's a grind. It's a process. But uh, I'm excited to, to be able to see all the year one guys we had take that next step into year two and, and come back even better, uh, more confident, more ready to make some plays. So uh, it's, we got a great group as well. It's, it's easy to be around these guys and be in the locker room with them. Uh, the brotherhood we got, it's, it's fun to be a part of. All right, higher or lower than an eight? Man, I feel like it's going to be it's going to be a – let me go lower. Let me go lower. It's higher. We get to ask him a tough one. Fine. Santa Harris, that's my I, car. I mean, right I mean you, you, you've been doing really well, though, so far. Yeah. Okay, so let's walk through a real moment in life because you, you prep for the draft. We all know that. Everybody knows you prep for draft night. But it's different that day that you find out you're going to be the starting quarterback because you're replacing a legend, right? Mm-hmm. What's going through your mind the day you find out that Aaron's gone – and it's now your job. Uh, excitement, um, joy. You know, it was a long three years of being a backup, being you know behind Aaron, being able to learn, um, and just waiting for my opportunity. So that that's what I was waiting for that whole time. And uh, to finally hear I'm going to be the starter, man, is, is everything I've been working for, everything I've been dreaming of. Uh, so it's almost like a dream come true. It's almost like getting redrafted. Um, so it was nothing but excitement. Did you have to pull back a little on energy coming in the first time? Like, cause it just feels so. You've been waiting for that chance. Now you want to pop off. Yeah, no, it was, it was exciting walking back. You know, when I came back for OTAs, just walking through the facility knowing that, you know, I'm the guy now. Um, and, you know, like I said, it, smiling the whole time, but uh, knowing that it's going to be a journey. And it's, it's definitely it's a great opportunity, but it's, it's, it's a hard journey at the same time, being in the NFL, being a quarterback, uh, starting quarterback. So 
Um, just knowing that you know the three years I've been preparing for this opportunity and just trying to take full advantage of that. Well, we know why you're walking through the facility. You smell good because Old Spice. What are you doing with Old Spice? <laughs> man, we're doing some great things with Old Spice. We actually got some, some new product, man. Total body deodorant right there. Um, that's the good stuff, man. I mean, it's not regular deodorant. It, it, it's everything. You can put in armpits, put on your toes, everything in between, man. So Everything in between. You're saying no-no places. Man. I can spray my no-nos. You can, man. And uh, it's, it's going to help us going into next year. My whole team is going to be smelling great in the huddle, on the field. It's going to help us a lot. If I've learned anything, smell great, play great. That's what we know now. Exactly. Thanks exactly. for hanging out with me. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me.